How's it going, Adventures? Seraph here. So this is going to be the process of how to link your PlayStation Genshin Impact account to an email address, and that will allow you to log in to PC, mobile, you know, PC, Android, PC, iOS, whatever, and even on the Switch in the future. Essentially, it's a really simple process. All this comes down to is this email thing is what allows you to log in. So if you look in the right corner of this video there, there's my ID for PlayStation 600275214. So you know this is my PlayStation um, Genshin Impact account. I previously have a video where I linked the PC mobile account that I normally do to a PSN ID. So you can watch that video and it should be pretty helpful. First thing I want to do, and I'm sorry I'm holding my phone to record this because it's just going to be easier to piece together that way because I'll be logging in on my uh, Android account to test this out and play. So let's go up here. As you can see, there's my ID and everything. Again, user ID. You want to go to settings under the Paimon menu. Sorry if I'm shaking, I'm trying to hold this still. Go all the way down to the bottom, and now we have this function added called Account uh, User Center. And that's where we're going to tap to proceed the User Center. And I'll only record stuff that won't show my personal information. So let me pause this a second. Okay, it's pretty simplistic. I mean, it pulls up a browser window on your PlayStation, which is always a fun thing. It says Link Account. So there we go. There's the link over there. We're going to do that. Okay, and the next thing we get is this lovely screen here where we're going to put in the email address. It sends a verification code. You verify, you create a password, confirm password, because this is how you log in on the PC, mobile, all that stuff. Um, again, switch in the future, you agree to the terms. And that should all that should be all we need to do. It's going to be awesome. So I'll get back to that in just a moment. And again, we've got this lovely thing that pops up that they want us to select things in a certain order. It's pretty cute. I, I love this uh, little captcha thing to verify. It's pretty cool. So we'll just select those in the right order then. Okay, so I got it linked. And after you do that, you'll get access finally to the same Hoyo account information that all the PC mobile users had all this time. But make sure, this is very important, that once you do this, PlayStation users, you get to pick a username. It's kind of like a PSN name when you think about it, but you get to pick a username to tie to the Hoyo account for the first time. You can never change this. So be very careful what you choose to pick. Once you do this, you can never change it again. I just want to verify. So the account's been linked and everything's good. It's linked to an email. Now I can use it to log in on PC mobile or whatever, switch in the future. But make sure that when you create a username for the first time, you are absolutely certain what you want because you will not be able to do it again. The email you can change and link to different email that's not been used with Mahoyo before, but this is a one-time only. Uh, also, I highly recommend you link a mobile account. I've got it linked on mine. I'm going to now link a mobile account uh, to this account for the PSN one. So make sure you do that as well. It's a good security feature. And uh, down here at the bottom, you'll see where it says linked accounts. Over here, we got the PlayStation symbol. So there you go. It's been linked. Okay, so here we are now on the Android phone. So mobile. Um, I could do this on PC, obviously, as well. The first time you log in, this is the PlayStation account that I've linked an email to, and I'm now logging in on my Android account with that email and password that I set up, as you saw in the previous recording, on the PlayStation. So now I'm logging in on my Android. you got to agree to the terms and service for the first time. They do have to send like a verification code from the device to the email address, so you got to put that in as well. And we'll see what the next screen has for us. Okay, that's it. I just did the verification of the files and everything. Um, let's log into the game. This should be my PlayStation account on the Android. This is freaking amazing. So it took a while, but I do finally have the ability now, and everybody else that's was stuck on the PlayStation has the ability to log in on other devices to play. This is so cool. So I don't always have to be on the PlayStation. And if you look in the right-hand corner of the screen, there's my user ID, 600275214. That's my PlayStation ID. As soon as it loads in the game itself, I'll show in the upper corner as well. Oh, cool. You get that little pop-up thing too, which uh, you normally don't see that on the PlayStation, but uh, you get that on, obviously, uh, mobile and PC and stuff, so that's pretty cool. So, here we are. This is the PlayStation account, and it is now able to be played on Android, PC, iOS, Switch when it is available, that kind of stuff. Freaking amazing. Love it. This is so cool. Well then, um... That's pretty much it. It was pretty simple. It was actually pretty simple after all. It just all comes down to the email. I did have one hiccup. The email I wanted to use to link to my um, Mahoyo PlayStation account, basically, I'd already used it with something else, possibly with, um, 
I think Hong Kong Impact, I tried to create an account with that, something like that. So it was already somehow linked to a Mahoyo account. Or I think what it was is when I first started playing this game, I thought that I could make uh, a Mahoyo account and then link that to PlayStation, which wasn't a thing. So there's this Mahoyo account out there with that email that's never going to be used for anything because it was supposed to be, in my opinion, linked to my PlayStation account. So whatever the case, just, just use a different email. It's not that difficult. Um, I could probably you know, email them and ask them to unlink that, but it's just an email address. There's no point in making it too difficult, but if it really matters to you, you can contact their customer service, um, either on the game website, which I'll try to find the contact information there, put the link in the description of this video. So you can contact them that way. Or I think you can contact down here under like, um, community at the bottom left or possibly feedback. Uh, all right, there's community. Oh, there's like the official website and everything. That's pretty dope. Didn't know you could do that. Um, feedback down here. You could do that as well. Whoa. Uh, sorry about the flipping screen there. So yeah, you can go to the feedback there and hold on, let me get out of there. Didn't mean to flip your screen there for a minute. That was weird. So anyways, there's ways to contact them in game, but also I'll leave the link in the description for this video on how to send them a message uh, via like a web page or something like that. That's pretty much it. Hope uh, you found this useful and that's the whole process. Now my accounts are linked so I can cross play. PlayStation on PC Mobile, and PC Mobile and PlayStation. It's pretty cool. Wasn't as difficult as I thought it'd be. If you found this useful, maybe give me a like or smash subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one, Adventures.